Beta rays. Hi. Okay. Uh, before we get into the core lineage, any anything from last week? Uh, observations you've had, insights, questions. Let's gap for a minute or two or three. Open your mic and say something if you have something to say. Quiet. That's it. Come on, people. Got to give people a few minutes to warm up, Sensei. Oh, well, give me a holler. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, who's going to go right. first? Well, the end of that. Uh, let's see, I might want to call on some people. Is Elaine Yoder on tonight? Uh, not yet, Sensei. Is uh, uh, Catherine uh, Moskowitz on tonight? Mm, Catherine? I see a Catherine, but I don't know if it's Catherine Moskowitz. Um, hi there. Uh, is that is. our Catherine? Yes, is. this is this is Harv's Catherine. All right, I might. Uh, after a little bit, call you up on core. And then I may want to ask a sort of a female approach to 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 core. Uh, you know, like as a if I recall, I, I don't really recall, but if I recall, your core for Aikido was not bad. Do you remember? Yes. You were pretty good with that? Yes. Here? OK. Uh, all right. I'll call you after a few minutes. We'll see if I want to follow a certain line with okay. the ladies here. Uh, uh, Susan, you on yet? Or is she on the road? Uh, um, I'm here, Sensei. OK. I might call on you also. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, core, core, core. Yeah, does Paul Bowman happen to be on? No, probably not. Okay. Uh, it was, seemed like a year ago or so. I think Paul was on and we we're talking about a physical core, the first core, let's call the physical core, the core that everybody's talking about in the in their yoga class, in their Pilates class, uh, at the gyms, talking about core, core power. Uh, and uh, now Paul Bowman is, uh, I don't know what to call him, a, a very sharp guy with a lot of this hair, very sharp. And he, when he picked up core uh, and realized there was a sort of a mainstay to exercising, we're talking barbell type stuff here. Uh, when he started to understand core, he got fast results. He was talking about like in a month or so, his weights were going up like a hundred pounds. Uh, now I've been there, I've done years, I was a gym rat. And I'm telling you, you know, somebody can push an extra 100 pounds in a month. That's like unheard of. But he really caught the core boom manifestation, the core glow. And he really got fast effects on it. So that's I was going to have him dialogue that for a moment, but he's not on. That story should suffice. Okay, so that core, that core. Uh, if we could, should I do the standing? Let me try standing. It might be a bit easier for me. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Core, core. 
Okay, when I talk about core, I'm not talking about stomach exercises and a six pack. Okay, that's a, uh, for me would be for core work to exterior working the physical musculature. The core that I'd like to start with is a sense. Okay, it's a little bit of settling here. A sense of a, of a ball, if you would, let's start with a ball. And that that ball is uh, glowing a bit, uh, some type of aliveness. Of course, it's an idea, but you can't stay with the idea. It's like a nice idea. Now, a sense of, as if actually feeling that. Easy. A ball. And that ball radiates, kind of make believe feeling, make believe experience. Is that, those words are okay, aren't they? Oh. Okay. And as we settle down, sort of come in a bit, come in easy, easy, settle down. And there's a ball and that ball is alive and someplace will begin to emanate and it'll emanate because it's physical core, emanate through the physical body physical body. So that's why you have a core and your exercises, you get stronger at them because that radiating of that physical core ball of energy uh, would uh, should show through the whole body. So uh, so these this angle of exercise would get stronger. Uh, what if that angle of exercise would get stronger? It's squatting type boom 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 should get stronger. So a good physical core should naturally emanate through the whole body where the whole body is, uh, I don't say humming, but kind of a type of light humming, aliveness through the whole body. Are we okay with those words? They sound okay to me, yeah? Okay. Other simple, uh, Akacha, can I borrow you? Uh, simple stuff uh, we used to do on the mat. Uh, we'll, we'll use Katya for an example here. Uh, why don't you kick back a little bit? I got you back a bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so again, that sense of there's a ball down around in your tummy, okay? Keep settling to want that ball to sort of settle a little bit deeper. Okay. And if she is sense experiencing, as opposed to just an idea, if it's just an idea, I'm going to push her over so easy. Uh, but a sense feeling for that ball. And that puts a pressure on that. Feels pretty good to me. I'm putting a fair amount of pressure, uh, but she's not breaking floor, you could see. And she's not fighting me from up here with an idea. So yeah, not bad. How would you describe, there you go. She settled a bit more, deeper, I could feel it. Uh, how would you describe that, what I call a ball? That was a question. Mm -hmm. It's, I feel it's a sense of solidifying through mm -hmm. my center. So it's like I'm changing from, um, cello or gel into something a little firmer, a little. Okay. Okay, so it's solidifying, could I say, is it getting to be a boulder type thing yet? Not quite. Not it's, quite it's a just, boulder, but getting a little more solid. A little bit. Anything about the glow, your words? The radiation it's, it's, from it? It starts from the center of it starts radiating a little bit. It's not very big yet, but okay. it's and let's try it at that level. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And again, you settle. No, oh, she feels she felt like she went much deeper. Sense of that ball a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit further uh, uh, inside, behind, as opposed to here, mm -hmm. it's more here. In class, I used to come around often and remind people by 
kicking them or tapping them in the base of their spine and say it's deeper in. Okay, a ball alive, emanating. Oh, okay. Uh, you had it there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Again. When I first touched her, it's like, whoa. And then she lost it for a moment. Easy. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. Okay. Again, anything more on the description? And we would continue. Uh, she'd get a little heavier. Uh, this ball would become a boulder after a bit. There are other forms. Sometimes on a good day, I have a wall. So when you push me, you're pushing this wall. That's so why I like boulder and I like wall. Gotcha. For me, it was definitely in the beginning was very physical, and it was my my um, my body was my was my was my boundary, and in the end, I felt it was much bigger and it had much more underneath. So it was not just restricted to physical; it felt much bigger. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Back to the kitchen. Uh, yeah, and it should be so that as you settle and you get a ball, which we could do it that way, where your first sense of a ball might be basketball size. If you like a basketball here. As you settle and move into the next levels, remember, we're going through dimensionality here. As you settle, move into the next levels. Uh, it's a it change for me. It, it feels a little more like a beach ball. And it's a bit lower. Rock. It feels a little more like a beach ball size. Okay. Easy. As you settle. <clears throat> ah, yeah, I'm, I've a sense of going deeper. I can feel my feet like going deeper. A sense of that. And the core. Okay, here it uh, feels thicker. It's sort of uh, for me, uh, if I envision it, it looks darker and more metallic. Boom, definitely heavier. Uh, there's something I've seen before that looks like this. Boom, boom. It's a heavy metallic sense. Thinking about it here, that's nice visual, nice idea. Now. Back to the experience of that. Oh. Oh. And that the radiation, I think Katya said it or hinted at it, that it starts to radiate out a little further. Boom, radiates out a little further. You don't know, keep it inward high. This person doesn't have a core. And they're trying to be nice or, or quiet. They don't want to disturb anybody. Boom. The core radiation should it be pushy. I don't mean get out there and push people, but it should be boom, boom. So something is there. Something is there. Are we okay so far? I didn't mind that layout. Support starting. Uh, I want to change to this one for a minute. Oop. Ah. Okay. So. Uh, so using that back push, just an example, we could come up with some others uh, that I'm going on at the moment. Uh, but I've always liked that one. I've always introduced that to the Aikido class. <sighs> so to start this game going of core, going through dimensionality. So we, uh, so my uh, basketball level to my beach ball level, to that heavier metallic boom feeling. Uh, I could say those are three dimensions, you know, arbitrary measurement, but one was distinctly different. The next one was distinctly different. And the radiation from each one uh, equaled its size. Oh. Boom, okay. Uh, so, so far, so good. Okay. Uh, let's see, I want to excerpt, uh, excerpt something. I want to, uh, Autumn. I saw your name, so I know you're on. Autumn, I want everybody to do this. I'm talking to everybody, but right now I'm talking to Autumn, but everybody pay attention here. Autumn, this is important for you uh, because the way yourself comes into the 
actor world of theater. Uh, uh, she's, if I recall, she's pretty, of course. Uh, uh, it's nice or sweet or something, of course. But I want you to have a core here to get yourself lined up to the actor theater set, okay, which you set up. Uh, but that could be a hectic world, a lot of and, and, and boom activity going on. You're going to need a core uh, self to, I don't know the word, sustain that or be able to deal with all the pressures that may happen to the actor and the world of theater and all that stuff. So core, it's important for everybody, but I just want you to catch it because it's important. I want you to do well is what I'm saying. And I want you to catch core. So you can practice these earlier ones just for fun, the physical core, later we'll get into more energy core and stuff. Uh, but why, it's especially important for you because I want that self that comes in very smooth and it's yourself, very smooth and all of that to have a core uh, so it doesn't, so it can retain itself as self in the craziness of theater, <laughs> okay? And you don't have that, that the push, you might catch your attention and you start getting caught up in the push of things instead of boom, I'm here, whatever you want, boom. But that kind of boom, is that is that okay? All right. So again, I was talking to everybody, but I especially want to remind her on that because her style of self. Okay, thank you, Laura. Thank you. All right, where the hell are we? Dimensionality. <clears throat> okay, as we continue a sense of finer, let me stand again. Yeah. Okay. So let's say a few levels of physical core, okay? Then, uh, and again, remember I sort of break up physical and I uh, break it up and next is finer energy realm. So where El Sensei would call all of that uh, uh, manifest. I, I like to break up those first two uh, uh, because I see some people are physical and you say energy and they kind of go blank in there. It's just a continuation finer dim dimension. Don't know if I said that good enough, but in anyway, we're still in the manifest. But as you settle, remember the brain, I think, I feel, feel a bit better. Beginning to sense finer sensing, that's a dimensionality, brain game, okay? So uh, one, two, three levels of physical. As you continue to settle, moving through dimensions, settling with the finer dimensions, okay? Settling into finer dimensions. Uh, the separation from wherever you're at in a finer dimension is nothing, nothing really. Just a sense of moving into a finer dimension. Okay. So let's say the next one, uh, energy, energy. Bit of an energy dim dimension, okay. In an energy dimension, uh, this unit has an energy core. So it still looks wrong to me. But the sense of radiation is a bit better than it was with the basketball. You see, again, I'm sensing, imagining experientially. I'm coming up, trying to come up with words, okay? Finer level, settle down deeper, infers to me into a finer dimension of energy and and. So there's an energy body here as opposed to just a purely physical body or a physical body with energy starting to flow through more clearly. However you want to say it, sense it. And the core of that, there is a core. And that core 
radiates my word. Come up with your own word. It glows. I'm experientially imagining it, not imagine. I'm not imagining. I'm, I'm here in it, imagining as it, imagining with it, imagining in it. Uh, and that core radiates out around this body, energy body. And that, that level, for example, would be easy for me to do an arm extension practice, because uh, at this level, uh, the energy through the arm is very natural. I don't have to do anything physically. Physically, I'm here. But at this level, energy body radiating, it radiates, radiates. So I can do a pretty good extended arm practice. Okay, another basic I use on the map. <sighs> Settling down. Move from core to core to core, settling down, inferring, moving into a finer dimension. Finer dimension. Energy, energy body, energy field. And, and there's a core to it. And that core radiates. That's interesting. Almost like I can hear a sound as if it's humming. Almost as if I can hear it. So no big deal. Just but for me, that would infer the radiation, that glow uh, is pretty good. This movement is easy to do. It's like it's happening because there is a glow. It's not me doing this to look like I'm doing good. I'm not doing it. As it radiates, easy. It's radiating out more. You've seen the cartoons, isn't it? In cartoons where uh, a certain sometimes character ha has an aura around them. Yeah, huh? so you've all seen pictures. Kind of like an energy aura here a bit. A little bit light, but something, I can sense it. If somebody could see it, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, there are aura seers. Ah. My sense of it. Okay. Ah, yeah. All right. Take a pause on that one. Okay. So. <coughs> Oopa. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> I was talking to Noah about Chen Man Ching, a very famous Tai Chi, amongst other things. Very, very, very advanced Tai Chi is. And uh, what I heard through Noah's interpretation of, of him uh, was certain level of core and that, say, earlier level, the arms move free, shoulders arms, hands, they move free at that level. Bing, 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 bing. They move free. Now I'm gonna tell my arms what to do. It's not that. They move free at that level of core radiating, okay? Then as he continues to the next core radiating, he said the, uh, what I heard, he said the, uh, Feet are free. Okay. It's not from up here. Oh, yeah, I have feet. It's more like uh, if you have to skitter around, 
the feet would just move. Okay. So that's a better level. The next one would be where this more of the spine is beginning to show and the hand stuff and the natural feet stuff are still free and free. It just included a spine. Someplace around there at that level, they talk about energy is going up and down, okay, which should be no news for you people. Energy is up and down. And they talk about uh, fire and water. Again, it shouldn't be news to you people. So one takes on the form of fire, its partner takes on the form of water, and the core is being affected by that fire water and is becoming a, a hot bowl, a steaming bowl. So it's the same radiation, you might say it's steaming out as energy radiation or something. Okay, so. Where are we? So going through the physical, we basically did that, going through the first few physical levels, how many you need to get through that, with whatever, a few should be enough, to get to a finer energy dimension. And then there are many dimensions of finer energy. You can hang out there for a bit. Uh, so you're going through them dimensionally finer, easy, represents going deeper is moving into a finer level okay so how many of that level you want to do no, no rule uh be comfortable uh take it as it comes or as it shows okay as long as you're um, uh, sense experiencing these these finer, as long as you're some sense of experience, as opposed to just an idea. Oh, I'm moving through finer there. I'm at perfection now. Nice idea, but it's bullshit. Okay. The actual involves the experience, a sensed experience. I can call it an imaginary experience. You come up with your own word, but oh, I felt a deepening did i feel it or did i sense feel it definitely went deeper and my tailbone was part of that going deeper did i feel that or sense feel it come up with your own words okay so we uh, uh continue this core radiating game uh finer and finer the core uh should get a bit bigger i would think should show bigger uh, that, feel uh, i haven't been here for a while on core so let me feel click thank you okay physical da, 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 da. energy finer level of energy on a core pattern. Okay. Energy dimension, settling down represents a deeper, represents the next click into a finer level vibrational rate. And there is a core here. So uh, if I still have a, a, a sense of a uh, body is too heavy a word for me now this field body it used to be a body now it's kind of a field and the core of that field it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit more almost as big as my body core at this level core core The core and the feel uh, are getting close to a similar size. Uh, for me at the moment, the core feels like hair and the field feels like, like hair. So it's a pretty 
and the radiation from that core. I'm hearing the word aliveness. I'm going to say the alive emanations or the alive radiations. Uh, now here, if we we're playing with extended arm and testing by having somebody bend it, I'd be very good right, right here. This would be kind of easy for me. The student pushing would probably be a little bit in awe. Okay. Finer. Sense of bigger core radiating again. The word alive is all over me here. Alive. I'm just hanging out with the pulsations of it with this sense of alive. I can uh, sense, but I can sense, feel this aliveness. So it's carrying through to the heavier from the finer, moving through the heavier, I might say. Then begin to, to feel it, okay? Ah, yeah. Boom, boom. Ah, if I were sleepy before, I'm waking up now. This aliveness factor is spreading through from finer, Click, click to heavier. Boom. So this internal is affecting the heavier outer. See, most people train working the outer and they're like drilling through the outer. Uh, we really want to go the other way where we get the inner and then because it manifests outer uh, to, to be there and train. And more, finer, there, fuller, and train. Okay, so we're not extrinsic trainers, we're internal radiating out trainers. <laughs> so when they talk about internal work, uh, it's internal manifesting outward. Uh, careful at first, human condition. Uh, you'll get a sense of something going out there. Something out there will happen easier, better. And watch out, you get fascinated by out there. And because we're in the human condition kind of, what's the word? Yeah. Performance? Am I performing better? Or after a bit, I don't care. Am I internalizing better? Is this getting better and is this starting to show? If this happened to move better, I'll notice it, but don't get carried away with it because you're going to leave. You're going to leave the internal and get caught up with everyone else in the external. And soon you're going to get caught up into the stupidity and heaviness of external. And you're going to be an idiot like everybody else. Did I say that nicely? Oh, nice as I, <laughs> as nice <laughs> as I could, people. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it takes a little practice. Remember in Aikido, I'll let you center when you centering there. Uh, but we get an uke moving around you. And at first you get caught up in him and you're trying to deal with him. Okay, normal. But you begin to center. Okay. Uh, tonight we're using core, 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 but very, very similar center. And as you get more centered, it's more easier, natural to deal with that guy going around and around you. Okay. Just need some practice because at first, when you first begin to center, uh, him going around and around you sucks you out. Okay. No, of course. Uh, oh, sensei said, uh, we're talking about a much finer level, but the same thing. You got to practice there a little bit. Because <laughs> we're so used to going out and checking the craziness. Okay. okay. Uh, you got to learn how to, I don't have a word, retain, hold. I don't mean to lock in on it, but 
uh, but to be able to retain yourself as core self. And when all this goes on, you're still that core self and things will happen, but you're not coming out to get them to happen. Okay. Which is what I was trying to say to Autumn. I like to get this core here. So no matter how crazy it gets, boom, you have this inner strength, this inner capability, this inner whatever the words are. Okay. So the craziness won't throw you off with a little practice, okay? So, uh, I used to practice dumb stuff. I remember walking around a block and uh, and just practicing, uh, I forget what I was doing there, but let's say where I was doing core uh, and seeing how long I could re retain the sense of a core glowing as I walked around the block with cars going by and, and flowers showing and uh, whatever activity was going on. Could I, could I retain that sense? I would practice dumb stuff like that, which became very, very good. It wasn't really dumb. Okay. Uh, simple, but not dumb per se. So if you're interested, you'll fun around, you'll play, you'll, You'll practice, okay? Okay, so where are we going here? Uh, the reason I'm bringing up core is because I'm seeing. I'm seeing in the domain, the self that's returning back to the domain. I'm seeing that there's a core, that the self has a core. And some of the beings, which we call them, the selves that are there, I sometimes see uh, some floaters or hoverers, okay? uh, that selves that are more better established have included the aliveness of self, not just the concept of self. And when they include the aliveness of self, it seems to show through a core form, okay? So I thought, well, why not go through the basics of core? Uh, because if you get to self, then you'll know that as self uh, experiences its own aliveness, yes, it's aware. And yes, it is alive with itself, onto itself, find your own words, but it's alive as self. And the better they seem to do that, the better this core shows. Okay. So if it's going to be all the way in the self and the domain, well, let's have a little working knowledge of it or a little, uh, a little experience playing with it at the, at the basketball level, the beach ball level, the energy level, the, the deeper boom, boom, boom level. Uh, just to, just uh, Get that sense of it warmed up. Don't have the words here, people. But you should be able to follow me by now, I think, I hope. Ah, okay. Uh, so in the domain of self, the self that's returning in the domain, easy, hang out there. Self in the domain. Thank you, Brett. Self in the domain. Self experiencing its aliveness. Has a core. There is a core there. Can't hurt to include that, that in. Uh, it'll help. Also, when we get a balance between the awareness half, let's say, and the aliveness half, let's say, uh, that right there, the core seems to naturally begin to show. So it's a good, a good uh, map, a good uh, recognition point that you're starting to get more balance because the core will suddenly begin to show when you get the balance. See, the people, I, the beings I see, are, I'm playing with, 
Uh, if they're floaters, they don't have a core. Okay. So if they're feeling their own aliveness, also not taking a float away from them, but here, lightly floating alive here. It's in the here and now. Sensei told you that. Don't go anywhere. It's, 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 it's here. Go through this heaviness, through the finer. You can shift out of, of the manifest into the domain. And all of that is here. It's here. Okay? Might be vast here, but it's a vast here. Here-ness. Okay, where are we? Uh, I was wondering, uh, I might want to take a little bit of a female approach. Like, uh, not to say the guy's got this down pat. Uh, a lot of guys got no core, okay? Uh, uh, but just something about the female, uh, what's the word? Physiology, their physical makeup. I want to play in there a little bit. Ah, and in Aikido, I do see, I think, a percentage more with the women than the guys uh, not having an active enough core. Okay, that's why I wanted to call in, uh, uh, amongst other people, uh, Elaine Yoder. I always thought she had a good core. Okay. Uh, and again, I'm not picking on women and don't, don't hold me 100% here. But I see, I've seen quite a few women who are kind of advanced in the rank, but not having the core uh, and sort of knowing they're missing something. I think it's confusing them a little bit. So let's just, let me just talk to the women for a little bit. Oh, I, uh, this is new territory for me, people. Bear with me here. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> uh, Susan, say yes. Susan? Yes. There she is. <sighs> say, sir, officer on parade. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we were talking a little bit about, about the female's approach to core. And yes. I was wondering about this, uh, I don't remember what word I used, but this sacredness of their of this thing they have, because it's the not a breeding zone, but a birthing zone. Is there a female flavor about that zone? You following me? Give me some words. Yes. Good. I Go. Think like we talked about, you know, the female design is set up to be, you know, sort of a fertile ground, a fertile place for supporting um enabling birthing but so, the importance of the support there and the the richness the depth of that support and how critical that is and maybe sometimes that takes precedence over the what you're calling an activation of the core okay hold it right there Yes. So I was just wondering if in having this fertile, I'm sorry, uh, if, what, what words did you use again, Susan? Uh, fertile support, fertile. Sort of fertile ground, fertile, a fertile place. Okay, a fertile place for what females are famous for. Okay. <laughs> no problem, people. No, no problem. But just in the continuation of core, I don't know how to say this. We have to get moved through finer there. Yes, yes, and that's great. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Okay. And to continue through that level into the next, where the 
generating outward radiation is, is a bit better. If, if you stop at your normal female, the fertile ground, the sacred fertile ground, the, this must be protected at all costs, fertile ground. See, when I was young, it was, I heard very clearly, you do not punch a girl in the stomach, okay? Like, never do that. Then, as I growing a bit older, teenage plus, it was like in judo, uh, we shouldn't have pound girls continually because their stomachs can't quite take it. Okay, I remember this is old days talking, but there must have been some kind of truth because these people have been in the arts for years and years and years and years. They must have seen something, okay? Uh, so, I don't know where I'm going here. So, fine with the sacred ground, fine with that, great. Now let's continue finer dimension and finer dimension where the core, I'm thinking, I'm sensing, will change and become a little more boom core. I think we're starting to see it in movies lately over and over again, where, uh, where the females, uh, maybe because uh, their daughter got kidnapped or they got screwed over or whatever, whatever, are suddenly going, boom, and you're suddenly the warriors, okay? They're the assassins. They're the ass kickers, okay? A lot of that going on in movies. Seems like a whole bunch of those. Uh, so, so this stronger core, deeper core, boom, they can help better with this physical presentation, this physical capability. Uh, I didn't want to talk about, uh, what's her name? Susan, the lady who flips around in the, uh, in the Olympics, not this year. Simone, Simone Biles. Simone. Uh, but the core you have to have to have the body maneuver itself freely properly in order, balanced and neat and beautiful. The core you need, you see. So they're showing pictures of her with a, a six pack or something. And it's like, yeah, 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 that's the exterior. That, that's not her core. The core is something deeper inner that's glowing outward. Okay. I, I, are you following me? Uh, and apparently uh, she lost her core. Uh, I don't want to go into a conversational ah, uh, temporarily. Okay. Uh, so are, 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 are we okay? Catherine. Catherine? Turn yes. Off. There you are. Yes, here I am. How are you doing uh, with this dumb layout I'm trying to do here? With this, uh, what, what would you call that? Uh, uh, that core in the motherly level or... or mm -hmm. What, what, what would you call that? Susan had words for it. This um, yeah, I, I feel that that's really on track, that the birthing zone. I think what might be a next um, a level would be the nurturing zone. Uh, you, in a way, and this is, of course, based on the actual physical act, of having given birth, but there, there needs to be from an I'm sensing and feeling a great deal of nurturing of whatever it is you're giving birth to. A so if it isn't actually- Yeah, nurturing yeah. And, and nourishing kind of thing. Okay. Uh, so to me, that would just be a continuation of that level, fine. Mm-hmm. Now, what would be your sense of moving in a finer dimension to where, if I'm correct, we could get a little more of a, uh, a boom core? Mm -hmm. That core that all the ladies who are in, are in the movies now are showing. Boom, watch out, they kick ass. Um, that's why I was sensing 
without that sense of deep connection after giving the birth, then you wouldn't care. So to me, the core, and I'm getting uh, strong images of what I call soft as steel. Soft as steel. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, but no, that's whatever what it is. Uh, is that called the dichotomy? When it doesn't um, make bets, it gets softer steel. Damn it, sensei, which is it? There's a certain level where they both coexist beautifully. Yeah. Yes. At a lesser level, I can't figure that out. Certain level naturally happens. Quietly and, and, active, actively quiet, whatever. Yes, go yeah. ahead. And not only that, it's radiating kind of pink orange. So I go with the image, I go with the sense feel. And it's in that moment of um, sort of universal protection that the women or the mother or this metaphor we're talking about goes out full bore, fearless, um, uh, and, and, and determined to protect. So, to so that's where the mother bear is damn dangerous. Yes. That's where uh, even a cat would stand and try to fight my pit dog because it's got kittens there. Dumb move, but that's what they do. <laughs> Something is happening there. Yeah. Okay. And so as it gets finer and finer, that for me, that sense of, of nurturance, protection, then um, becomes more universal to everyone or to all or to, to the, you know, the planet. It just starts expanding, whatever, whatever my focus is in that moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think the important thing is a continuation. Yes. Uh, uh, first, the uh, vital place, and then the nourishing, nurturing, and then the protection capability. I want to go a little bit more to be the, let's say, martial artist. <laughs> okay. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And I was just wondering if, because that first female set is so strong, so there, that I just wonder if people would naturally stop at that level and, and not have the uh, emanation kind of thing. Uh, not only emanating with your bitchy idea or your bitchy mouth, I mean an emanation. Yeah. Oh, there's something there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, just, just a thought that came to me when I was musing on core. Um, yeah, so I, I got nothing more to say here. Thank you, Catherine. Are we okay with that? Uh, Susan, any more to add to that before we move along a bit? Uh, not just yet, Sensei. You okay with well, what was said? Yes, absolutely. Okay. You've got a pretty good core. Anything in general? Your earlier stages of it or, or whatever? Your, your core got pretty good. I think even when you came in as a as an awareness type, I think you still then had a fair amount of core, if I remember. Anything about your history of Corey? Uh, I'd say just uh, following up on what you did earlier with the manifest levels. And sort of with what I know now um, and what we've done over the past year, the, I have a much stronger sense of that um, activation, um, 
emanation through the whole system of the core, you know, at the finer levels of manifest. And then as that transitions with what we've been playing with to the self um, activating, uh, for me, there's another level or another, there's a shift in vibration, um, vibrational, just a vibrational sense or shift that happens once there's a certain balance of the manifest and then there's a shift to self in the domain. And that for me is one of those checkpoints of recognizing um, where I am with self in the domain. Yeah, the, the core is a good uh, signpost, a reference for where you are, where where you're at. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Uh, core should naturally begin to show, well, it'll show when you get centered or it'll show with your circle balance. It'll definitely show when you're centered and circled and circled and centered. It'll definitely start to show that it's there and the degree in which it shows and the effortlessness to tap it deeper will clue you in as to how you're doing with your, should we call that basic balance, basic squared awayness. If you're squared away pretty good, core should be pretty easy to tap and, and feel its, its radiations. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Yes. Okay. What, what, uh, Susan, meant, uh, I think she mentioned this. Uh, what Susan and I are trying to do, we're funning around with uh, uh, patients and clients of hers, uh, trying to hook in with their self, dialogue with their self, and having their self position a bit better in relation to their person. We're asking the whole verb to experience a more aliveness so they are, are positioned better so that the core radiation radiates. And what it looks like to us is it has the capability of radiating through the, let's say, energy system of that person and continuing into the matter system of that person, including their thought patterns and a bit the world around them, of course. All of that is affected by that is what we're playing with and starting to get some feedback that it's it's uh, happening, okay? So core, 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 core. Whew. I think I run out here. Uh, no, I was anything from the Chinese viewpoint that you wanna, you think I missed? Uh, no, Sensei, I think you laid it out pretty well. The that sense of, of core energy coming from what the Chinese would call the Dantian, very strong on that sense of emanation that you were talking about. And that in the internal arts, that's the focus rather than on building muscle or speed or uh, an aggressive uh, kicking everybody's ass attitude. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different way of approaching. You know, Sensei was really did this plus, 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 plus. And it doesn't matter how fast you are. They're going to catch me here. Yeah, no, it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, so I got to train up. Uh, see, and uh, I saw. Uh, um, okay, that's cool enough. Anything else there, Bob? That, that sort of? No, I think, I think you got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Anybody want to open mic? Anything here that excited you? Yeah, I have something to add, okay. Sensei. This is Ariana. Um, the in the Chinese, the Dantian is also called the Si of Chi or the uh, Elixir field. So the word Elixir is like uh, is maybe something different. Or something similar to what you family, I think we could accept that as being in the same family. 
the glow, the radiation. Oh, I feel more alive here. It's radiating more alive. You want to say elixir? I got no problem there. <laughs> okay. Might be at the next finer level or something, but doesn't throw me off any. Oh, elixir? Sure. Why not? Let's hang with that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's his boot. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I thought I'd throw that out because uh, no fala portuguese. <laughs> anyway, anybody, where the hell are we here? Oh, come on. Come on. My dinner's not ready yet. You people got to open mic here. Uh, one little tingle of excitement. Let's say this is Bob again. Bob again? Yeah. Okay. I, one other thought that occurred to me kind of relating the two, the Chinese and the Japanese, you had mentioned many times that when O-sensei passed on, the atmosphere at Hambu Dojo changed very quickly. <laughs> quickly, yes. And uh, at Professor Cheng's school in New York, uh, there was a lot of different kinds of people training there. And when he passed on, exactly the same thing happened. Yeah. It kind of fell apart. Yeah. Uh, uh, what he's referring to is when somebody is present, I'll send this in here and now, and emanating at such a level uh, that a lot of people just hanging around are affected by that. Okay. Uh, and so, oh, sensei, affected a lot of people. And when he decided to go, he, uh, he didn't leave a residue for people to continue to borrow from. He left, okay? With the sense of they'll do what they'll do now. And as the story is, uh, a lot of weird things were going on at home, but real fast. And Bob said, New York teacher, same thing happened. He went and and people got all sort of confused because they've been borrowing on, uh, being close to borrowing on, being affected by, uh, which is okay, but really it should have done more themselves. So my old thing was the teacher is gone. Long live the teachers. Okay, kind of like my reminder for, remember it's your internal work Okay. Uh, I loved those things. I leaned on him a lot. Okay. When he was gone, I was like, okay, now let's continue with your personal internal. Not that I hadn't been doing that, but again, there's a lot of what does those things they say and, and lean on him. And, uh, all right. Uh, anyway, how, however, say that nice. Thank you, Bob. Core, core, core. Some people, I think, get confused on center and core. So I usually say uh, the, uh, the center of the center, a core is there. <laughs> center of the center, a core should be there. Especially if your center is in relation to the circle, definitely then. Oh, it's like a bullseye, part of diagram, out of a diagram, kind of a bullseye thing. Okay. So you just just play, uh, sense experience, uh, and, and it'll come alive and show you it's alive. Okay, just play, just open to it, call it. Uh, uh, basic, basic, simple. Sensei? Yo. It's Autumn. Um, is it kind of like the self fills the space? I'm sorry, I'd say it again. Is it like the self is filling that space, like as you create the physical, the manifest, and then sort of as it shifts uh, okay. the finer, is, is the self filling it or is it really just the self? We call it emanations. Okay, so using this one here, uh, the emanations radiate out through the finer and heavier, naturally. 
is how we're picking it up. I don't know if I answered your, your question or you right. can ask again. I'm kind of stupid, Autumn. So you got to <laughs> spoon feed me. Uh, I think that makes sense. So it's kind of the self emanating from that. Self emanates through that. Right. The inner self emanating through that. It's just an advanced form, let's say, of uh, a basketball in your tummy that has a little bit of juice in it and it kind of glows, okay? And that ball glows through the body, okay? Now you just go in finer and deeper and, and, and to here, and the same thing is happening, but at a wow level. The self that is present in this layout radiates. It's alive, it has a core, and it radiates. Okay. Uh, so it should uh, uh, support better because it's, it's sort of the core, it should support better the energy body being more squared away, the physical body being more squared away. The mind-body setup of a person should get more balanced because of that inner radiating presence In the way I'm talking about it, it's an inner healing thing. <laughs> inner strengthening thing, whatever, whatever word you, you need at any time. Yeah, yeah, no, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Ah, uh, 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 let's see. Something, what was it? The uh, I'm going to shift over to self. Uh, there also, I don't think I've mentioned it too much when we we're talking about domain and self, but the pure of your qualities, okay, pure for lack of a word. Uh, you know, as a person, you've got qualities. We played that game before. What quality comes up easy for you? Uh, but in the domain of self, you're closer to the main of your qualities. So they're, they're pure, they're more original, and, and they'll be part of that em emanation. Uh, so let's say... Uh, uh, Somebody who's got a self pretty good present. Let's say it's it's uh, has a lot of beauty as a quality. I don't care what that person looks like. You're going to think that person is beautiful because this thing is radiating through. Okay, you've all probably had that experience. This is not a good looking person. Why are they so beautiful? It's just something that radiates through. Okay. Okay. Or somebody who looks small and wimpish, but boom, you know he's not. <laughs> I was fascinated. Uh, I used to teach at the Jewish Community Center, and there was a Jewish boxer uh, back many years uh, when boxing was more famous here. Uh, and he was a, a, a lightweight. He was, he was light, and he would fight the heavyweights and hold his own. I was like, oh my God, we're talking professional level. And he was able to hold his own with the big boys, the heavyweights, the big names. I thought that that caught my attention. I, I really, every time I went to teach a class there, I, I'd go up to the blackboard and read his story again. It just fascinated the hell out of me. So what did he have where this little fellow could cope with? Boom, bang. <laughs> Now I take core. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'm killing time here. Anybody, anything about anything? How's the weather where you live? Open mic, go for it. Sensei, it's Tom. I'm up here. Hey, I've been waiting hey. for you to say something here. Thank you, Tom. Yes. 
My parents in Sonoma County, it's still very smoky up there. Very smoky. It's even coming down here a bit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, hey, I'm I'm very interested in this um, transmission, this um, core emanating outward and in small group and small practice or in our practice, we're getting emanation, we're getting connection from say a leader or a sensei, our sensei. Um, I experienced this in the dojo with you, with other teachers, with Noah. But a sensei, when he passed, you talk often about this finer sense, this finer connection. It just, you're, I lost my parents last year in the, uh, to COVID. They, they passed the same day. Um, almost a year ago uh, to a couple of weeks from now. And I feel this past year, this finer, they, they haven't gone away. There's this fine, fine connection of being with my father. Or my sense father. of presence, can I say? Sense of presence. And it's, it's different. It's not as... Um, weighty as it used to be when I go see them in the, in the, in the um, assisted living center. I don't see their bodies the way I used to see them in their mid nineties before they passed. But now this energy is getting finer and it's more lovely. It's more, it, it has way more energy than, than it had in their passing. So yes. you've had this experience with, with O-sensei, you've talked about it. Um, it's a, it's a, a part of this emanation, this emanating energy that I still feel. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure what, what you want to highlight with those sensei. Uh, so there was that natural one when, when he was there in the dojo. Right? Yeah. Uh, so many of us knew when he was out of town because we'd feel the vibe lesson. Mm -hmm. And we could feel the vibe increase. And, oh, since it's back, huh? And they'd be like, yeah. I, my guess on when he was gone and when he was back was I had a perfect record. Yeah. Because the vibe would actually change. So if you're sensitive to a vibe, it was pretty easy to pick up. Now you got some dunderhead type people. They can't feel a vibe for anything, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you settle down and easy, you start to pick those things up a bit better yeah uh so yeah that you're able to pick up uh your parents on the other side whatever term we're using these days uh yeah that's uh if a relative of mine dies and doesn't pass through here i'm always a little surprised mm. they didn't pass by I'm, I'm more used to them passing by and dialoguing for a minute mm -hmm. and it's not <laughs> so that's where i'm at yeah it's uh, working and doing things that often I find there's some, and I go back to this nourishment, there's this some nourishment that of energy that's coming from a finer place. Uh, yes, I have the direct experience of learning things from my father and architecture and building and engineering, but also the doing there's, and I don't know in the dojo, Sometimes you have stopped and referenced O Sensei, taken a moment to um, either bring a memory or connect with him. And I'm just curious about that. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm a little careful with, I don't know, say borrowing from out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gee, I can't do anything because my guardian angel hasn't visited. My fairy godmother hasn't come by lately. Woe is me. Uh, so there I go, what are you people doing? It's inner. Inner is this treasure chest. Oh, Sensei says it in many ways. This inner is, 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 it's leading you to the great everything. That's the pattern we're trying to be on. Mm -hmm. Moving along towards a, 
a, more, a much more original. And the, the original of the original is fantastic, the word is. It's, it's like fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to get too caught up in out there. Uh, that doesn't mean I won't talk to a relative who passed on and is passing through. Sure. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't have contacts in the astral plane that I bullshit with now and then. Sure. Uh, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't line up to O-senseis. I don't know what to call it self, not the right word. Oh, sensei being this and, and, and whatever I can get from that. Yes. Fine, fine, fine. But I have to do my journey. Me in my world. You're all in your own world. And when you get to the domain, it's your domain. Yourself in your domain. So don't get confused if you happen to bump into other selves floating around there, okay? Yourself in your domain. You've got to square away there for a bit also, okay? Uh, I don't want to say we're all in our own world that we originally constructed. We set it up. You're in your own trap, people. You laid the trap out. <laughs> and when you got in, you got confused. Well, it's still your trap. Untrap yourself. Untrap yourself. That's what we're trying to do. Dimensionally finer. Unwinding is untrapping. So that self that's caught up here and cocooned unwinds from those wrapping. And, and, easy the eye. And, and, settle a bit deeper. And, and that's all we're doing. We're just, yeah. So, uh, so this is an important step, this domain self. That's, that's a big step. We'll see how many can pull that one off. Uh, but it's just a continuation. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't, 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 don't know how to say it, Tom. Uh, I feel like. I feel more that I'm recognizing myself who I am, even though there is this understanding that, that I've absorbed these emanations, I've absorbed all this teaching, but in some way, respect, it, it is me that's- To you, yeah. Yeah, that's feeling, it's me that's experiencing myself. And so if I can appreciate yeah. those teachings better. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if we have good words for this, but it's like, I like that you watch, watch the show, hmm. but when it's over, what if you picked up anything? Hopefully it's to help you continue with you in your journey. Right. When the show is over, don't lean on me. Okay. Lean on me is a nice song, but when the show is over, don't lean on me. Whatever is meant for you to do finer movement within your system. I think I said that right. Yeah. 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 Thank you. No, thank you. Oh. Uh, I'll hang out with you people if you want to bullshit anything. Feel free. Or we can I've got Who that? I've got a question, Sensei. This is Dusty, if that's okay. Yeah. Go for it. Um, yeah, you talk about this emanating from the self out to the physical and just wondering, like the imagination and the sensing and the experiencing, if one's superior to the other. And like you talk about, don't get lost in the imagination come back to the experience, but can you get lost in the experience and ignore the imagination? Okay, stop. You went imagination. That's not where I use that word. I try to show you that by saying, I'm imagining. I don't do that. I may allow an idea, but then I play with the experience of it. 
I sometimes to get finer and finer, I at first imagine a radiation from this ball. Easy, easy. Okay, there it is. And it's radiating. That time it had a little bit of an orange color to it. Did I make that up? Screw that stuff. Continue, easy, settle, settle, mm -hmm. core, core, and from the core, radiating. You're kind of red around the outside, but it's a little more whitish, fuller. And it felt a little bit bigger. Can I prove that? No, I'm trusting my sensing. And to get there, I had to imagine this thing happening for starters. Okay, it's not imagining out there, out there. I don't do it that way. I experience my imagination stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to say it right. There's no right word, Rob. Right people, probably no right words. If there was, we'd just use that word. Yeah. And everybody would get it. And it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I say soul. You say spirit. He says the original self. I say, yeah, 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 whatever. As long as we kind of figure out where we are and so we can move along together. That's all. So uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so Good, thank you. Yeah. Uh, see, that's why we do simple tests. Uh, Brad, can I bore you? Straight down the seat. Uh, push the arm up. Push, push, push. There we go. Okay. Okay. Easy. I uh, I sense a little bit deeper center. Easy. There it is. Now a bit better. <laughs> right. So did I imagine that? Did I sense it? Whatever I did, whatever word I used. Wait. <laughs> Okay. I'm getting feedback. So that's why you do these dumb physical checks just to know the difference between I'm thinking and being will push me up easy. I say, oh, not that, not in there. I'm sensing a line a little bit deeper here. Boom. And if I'm thinking about sensing that line, he'll push me up. But if yeah. my sensing is experiential, he won't push me up or I'll be better there. And then I'll center some more and I'll be better there. So that's why we do those dumb things to, to get you a track record. I don't know those words now, uh, a direction and to help you know that, no, it's not that, it's this. No, whatever you want to call it, this, feeling itself, sensing itself, imagining itself, being a center line. I don't know, come up with your own damn words. But by doing a simple check, uh, it tells you when you're going off. Okay, is that, is that clear enough? I hope, at the moment, best I can say it. Are we finishing up here, people? Uh, sensei, it is five of eight. And I think that uh, unless somebody wants to jump forward with a final comment, going once, twice, three. Sensei, I want to thank you again for okay. a wonderful class. Yeah. And again, play. Play with this basketball radiating. <laughs> Fun around. Do dumb shit with it. Okay. Thank, thank you. you, everyone. And thank you, Nedo Sensei. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. 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 Thank